what's going on, Magnum? So, there's reports out there that your boy 69 got beat up in jail already. Um, there's no reports that the condition he's in or, you know, how hurt he got other than he got attacked by a group of men. Um, and they have put him in protective custody. So, this is something we're going to look down the line. To be honest with you, it's bound to happen. Um, I'm pretty sure no one is shocked. No one is surprised. If anything, the one thing I'm shocked at is it didn't happen earlier. Um... But, you know, this is a sad story about a kid who just wouldn't listen, let his arrogance get to him, and thought he was better than anybody, and that, you know what I'm saying, he was untouchable. And um, he's going to be learning a lot in the next couple of days, weeks, and years that he was very touchable, um, and all he had to do was listen. And I hope this is a story that other young cats out there, you know what I'm saying, see and learn from on their own, because... 6 9 is a guy that, you know what I'm saying, he wasn't really that talented, but he blew up, and he made a name for himself, and what you gonna call it, sometimes you, when, when you already have a target on your back for what you're doing in the streets, you know what I'm saying, when you, when you get that type of fame, your target gets even bigger and bigger, and there becomes a full core press on you, and when you got people out there telling you that you need to watch your steps, and you know what I'm saying, protect yourself, and know that, you know what I'm saying, especially when you talk about the FBI is watching you. Fat Joe over here trying to, you know, put the kid on game and shit. And just ignoring everything and doing every, you know, going off there, doing everything he wanted to do his way and whatnot. And look what happened. So arrogance gets you nowhere. Alienating everyone around you gets you nowhere. And beefing with everybody around gets you nowhere. So he's about to learn the fact that you need to listen to people. You need friends. You need to be cool with people because, you know what I'm saying, just going out there beefing. It, it, it's fun. It's cool. And it might sell records. But now when you're in trouble... Who the fuck are you going to look to? Even your boy 50 Cent talking about, don't call me, call your mama. So, there it is, man. So, that's a sad lesson. Um, and, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. And, like I said, I'm surprised he got beat up a couple of days after he got locked up. I figured that shit would happen a lot sooner. I don't know. Y'all let me know what you think. You know what I'm saying? And let me know uh, if you surprised like me that it took so long for him to finally get his ass kicked in jail. Now, it's only been there for a few days, but still, you figure that hit would have went out ASAP. If anything, you know what I'm saying, from his boys that, you know, he done this, even though they, you know what I'm saying, they, they in jail too, but you know, they got other people out there that could put a hit on him, or anyone that's out there worried about he, he might snitch, so. His life is definitely in danger. He's probably going to have to be in protective custody all throughout the court hearings and everything in the trial, so we'll see how it goes, and we'll keep you updated with that.